In 1990s, after the fall of USSR, the country of Armenia did a hostile invasion into the territories of Azerbaijan. This war continued until our great leader Heydar Aliyev finally established a peace. However, Armenia kept their lands and throughout years we tried to get the lands back with peaceful talks. Four UN resolutions were adopted that Armenia must return our lands, but every time they ignored these resolutions and still insisted that the territories belong to them. We have waited for 27 years, but Pashinyan's behavior and open provocations overwhelmed our patients. However, after years of negotiations, we understood that we wouldn't get our lands like this. We understood that Armenians know only one language, violence. So we decided to get our lands in their way. We decided to strike back. Armenia thought that we were weak and an easy target, but for all of these years of negotiations, our power was getting stronger and stronger. And on 27th of September, we started a war. They didn't expect it. In 10th of November, a ceasefire agreement was made and it concluded the victory of Azerbaijan. This war wasn't without casualties. 2,783 Azerbaijan servicemen were killed, 100 more were missing, and many were hurt or became disabled. After the victory, the entire nation was celebrating, while Armenia's loss ended in Armenian protest 2020. I congratulate our people and president. God bless my... Karabal is Azerbaijan. You have probably heard this expression. I will prove it to you. The Armenians say they lived in Azerbaijan since ancient times, but it's completely wrong. Because the Armenians began to be settled en masse in the territories of Iravan, Nakhchivan and Karabakh Khanates in the 19th century by the Russians, uh, according to the Tuchmanchai and Edirne agreements with Qajars and Ottoman state. But Oğuz Turks have lived in Azerbaijan since ancient times. The Turks first came to Azerbaijan in the middle of 11th uh, century with Oğuz Seljuk flows. In 1040-1050, they strengthened in Azerbaijan. We are on the right path. Karabakh isn't Armenia. Karabakh is Azerbaijan. I want to give some information about Karabakh to my peers. Karabakh is one of the ancient historical regions of Azerbaijan. Nagorno-Karabakh lies in the center of the western regions of the Azerbaijan Republic, part of Karabakh as a world. The Nagorno-Karabakh Autonomous Region was established on the territory of Azerbaijan Republic in July 1923 under Soviet rule. From the late 1980s to May 1994, the Karabakh war between the Republic of Armenia and the Republic of Azerbaijan took place in the Karabakh region of southwestern Azerbaijan. At that time, 20% of Azerbaijan's lands were occupied. The Kojali genocide took place in 1992. After successful battles that lasted from September 27 to November 9, 2020, on November 10, 2020, our lands were liberated from occupation. Karabakh is a part of Azerbaijan. First of all, I need to say Nagorno-Karabakh is an integral part of the Azerbaijan's republic. The world Karabakh as a name given by Azerbaijan people to their land first appeared in primary historical source of the 7th uh, century. Uh, the Nagorno-Karabakh problem is rooted 18th century when Armenians uh, removed Iran from Iran and Anadolu. The Armenia gradually increased uh, in uh, number and began making uh, territorial claim claims on Azerbaijan. Uh, they continued their separatistic activities uh, during uh, the Karabakh Khanate and organized a uh, campaign by external forces again. 
after a uh, Russian uh, occupation of the Khanate in uh, 1805, the relocation of Armenians uh, there as well as uh, to Nakhchivan and Iravan intensified. Even in order to formalize this process, some attempts uh, were appended the Turkmenche Treaty in 1828. Armenians' main aim was uh, to create Great Armenians Sea to Sea, but it just dreamed. Uh, before the collapse of the of, uh, Soviet Union, uh, the Armenians in uh, Karabakh had armed and uh, they began operations uh, there in uh, 1988. In the result, Nagorno Karabakh and uh, together with another uh, seven regions uh, Lachin, Gubadli, Agdam, Jabrail, Chalbajar, Ar and Zangilan and uh, Fizuli were occupied by Armenians. And 10 November, Azerbaijan military uh, liberation uh, of Karabakh. Karabakh is Azerbaijan. Karabakh is one of the beautiful corners of Azerbaijan. But Armenians took this corner from us. For 27 years, they did their best not to return our territories to us. We know this. One day, we would take back Karabakh. Finally, that day came. September 27, 2020. When I woke up in the morning, I watched everything from the news. From the first day, our heroic soldiers took back some of the territories of Azerbaijan in Karabakh. Everyone was watching the news for taking information about the war. And as the days passed, our troops continued taking our other territories in Karabakh. We believed in our supreme commander-in-chief and our soldiers. However, realizing that they would lose the war, the Armenians began firing rockets at our various regions. And the missile fired by them killed many people in Genja and Berde. Nevertheless, we didn't give up. Finally, under the agreement signed on November 10, uh, Karabakh was um, returned uh, to Azerbaijan. And we must say that Armenians uh, destroy Karabakh's nature. If Karabakh was their territory, they wouldn't damage Karabakh. That's why Karabakh is Azerbaijan's historical territory. Land their homeland, they met the country whole. They were martyred for the motherland. We bow before the souls of our martyrs who made our people happy with the historic victory in the Herais War. We remember with pride and respect those who made the country whole. Dolazel Jabrel was born on September 11, 2001 in Sumgai. Jabrel Dolazel, a serviceman of the Azerbaijan Armed Forces, served in the Azalabad region for more than a year. He volunteered for the Second Karabakh War. At the age of 19, he brought his name in golden letters to history with his service. He almost knew he would be martyred. Mother, don't be afraid. Nothing will happen to me. If I am a martyr, make it lawful. These were the last words he said to his mother. As our army advanced, he said to the officers next to him, You go back. You have a family. You have children. They should not be orphaned. And he threw himself forward. Facing more than 10 Armenian soldiers, Jabral fought with Armenian colonels and generals and strangled, strangled uh, two Armenian colonels. Jabral was buried next to Polat Ashmov by the order, the, uh, order of the president. Sounds like Jabral should be recognized not only by me, but by the whole world. <laughs>